Hello everyone, it's Bob Butera with Lesson 6, which focuses on sounds and our perception of sounds. The next number of lessons are going to get into the, our perception with our senses and we're going to take some time to practice these exercises over a few weeks. Dealing with sounds, if you think about it, has anyone ever instructed you on how to listen? Probably not. They've probably just modeled listening techniques, but never actually talked to you about how you react to sounds unless you had some really unusual problem. It's not something that's dis discussed in school. So we hear a sound and we react to it. And people have sounds that are annoying, sounds that are pleasant, sounds that are somewhat inconsequential. There's an entire step just prior to the concentration and meditation exercises in yoga that recognizes the importance of understanding how we perceive the world around us. So if you think about quieting your mind, as we've been discussing throughout this whole course, right? we talked about how to breathe, how to relax, how to become self-aware. Last week a little bit about our diet, we talked about positive thinking and pure thinking. Think of all these aspects. They relate in some part, in some major part, in how our mind understands the world. From that relationship, that somewhat of that self-identification, the, the recognition that we're separate from nature, yet paradoxically a complete integral part of nature. Well, in that whole process, we have to make sense of reality. And as that occurs, in this case, in relation to sound, we have all kinds of errors, if you will, that causes our mind to be disturbed, that forces us to need to meditate. So then you start to meditate and you hear a sound and a million thoughts arise. So we're going to spend time doing a simple exercise where you focus on one sound in the midst of other sounds. And you start to watch your mind jump to the other sounds. So you're listening to a piece of music and <clears throat> there's a clapping noise or some other noise that happens. And you watch your mind jump. <clears throat> Notice how it reacts to that sound. So I'm asking everyone this week to think of one or two sounds that disturb you. I have some funny stories over the years of various sounds that used to annoy me and I followed the point from the lesson two on stress management about how I was making that sound something other than what it was. I have a, a, an example <clears throat> of the Christmas music that you hear. We're in the fall season now. You start to hear the Christmas tunes even before Thanksgiving which causes the customer or the shopper to want to buy more Christmas presents. Well that music used to annoy me. <clears throat> and it was because I was annoyed at the materialism in our culture and the amount of suffering that's caused by people being happy because of material things instead of spiritual things. See, it wasn't really the music that bothered me, it was the way that I viewed our culture. And as I allowed myself <coughs> to, to understand why I was thinking that. I was able to completely shift the way that I heard the Christmas music. Now I almost don't even know that it's on. It's almost like any other music, a different any time of the year when you hear music at a shopping mall. It doesn't really affect me either way. I'd like you to work on a sound and free yourself of that sound by trying to understand your reaction to it. I have a little, you know, four-step process here about being aware of something first and understanding it and then starting to reflect on that and ultimately find a peace with it. This becomes crucial on two counts in relation to meditation. The one is your daily stress. You will remove tons and tons of stress as you start to perfect this and we're going to practice this exercise, excuse me, this exercise for the next two weeks. The second point is that when you are meditating, you will hear sounds, invariably, 
even at home sitting by yourself, there'll be various sounds that you hear. <clears throat> Those sounds can be extremely distracting if you don't know how to do this. So quite frankly, I don't know how people who don't know this can actually meditate. They have to learn to block the sounds out, which is something that in the yoga world we think causes more thoughts. We want to let the sounds pass right by with no reaction to them. Enjoy this exercise. Don't expect to figure it out on the first night. Stay with this exercise for the next few weeks. We're going to use it for this lesson and next lesson. Again, that's from experience in the past. That one week wasn't enough for people to really get into this. So I think you're looking forward to removing some more stress and quiet in your mind this week. Enjoy the lesson.